Hey everyone, Brandon Jackson here, and I'm accompanied with Bob Rule, one of our old Duncan demonstrators from the 50s and 60s. And we had the opportunity to stop in Atlanta on our 80th anniversary tour at Bob's house, and he showed us his collection, some of his videos, and some other things. And he showed us one video in particular that blew us all away. Me and Jack Rinka and Seth Peterson were like, we've got to share this with everybody. So um, it's from the 1962 first ever national yo-yo contest that was put on by Duncan Yo-Yos. And uh, Bob's going to tell us a little bit about it. And one of the neat things about the... Uh the footage is the pictures of Barney Akers and uh, Jack Duncan, uh, Don Duncan uh, Jr. Uh, and I happen to be in it also. The uh, winner was from Memphis, Tennessee. His name was Richard Woodward and won $5,000. And that was a prize back in 62. And just go Google $5,000 in 1962 and see what it would be worth today. Now there is no audio to the video, so it is in its purest form, straight footage from the contest. So here it is, the 1962 National Yo-Yo Contest. And here we are in Disneyland, uh, in Anaheim, California in 1962. And the gentleman with the hat is the great legendary Barney Akers. And watch this trick. Two-handed milk to cow and he drops it down between his legs. You never see a picture of Barney that didn't have a hat on, because he was bald-headed. This is just, of course, natural. the contestants that were there will try to show up, <coughs> try to explain who is who. Uh, some of the shots are so quick, we, we can't do it. But when we get back into where they're actually doing some tricks, uh, we'll be able to highlight them. That little blonde right there was the 1963 winner. And that's the young younger brother of the eventual winner, Richard Woodward, who was from Memphis, Tennessee. And there's Barney on the left with his hat, myself. There's a, a J Don Duncan, uh, Bob doing a few tricks. As I told uh, Seth and Brandon, this is just to prove, the only reason I got it out is to show them that I could play once upon a time. And there is Pat Brown, who is the young fellow whose parents uh, donated this footage. Not sure who the gal is. There's two gals in the contest. There's Pat again. And naturally, since it was his parents taking the video, there's Pat again. Yeah, of course, that's Barney with the microphone in his hand. And this was the first ever national championship. The winner uh, got a $5,000 check. And the eventual rent winner, uh, Richard Woodward, actually invested the $5,000 in Holiday Inn stock. And Holiday Inn Magazine, there's Pat again. Holiday Inn Magazine had a real nice write-up on... Uh, uh, Richard, maybe we'll uh, be able to put that on one of these days. And you'll notice in the beginning, these are basic tricks. That was uh, three-leaf clover. And there's five loops around the world. And now, oh, he caught it. So it must have been the tail end of the trick. There's the little wand. <laughs> He's gone already. We'll, we'll get a better shot of him. He was the 63 winner, Jimmy Lucas from San Antonio, Texas. There's your five loops around the world, and then five loops again, and you got to catch it. And you can kind of tell by the facial expressions when they don't make it. <laughs> There's Jimmy. That's a 1963 winner. And there's Richard, the eventual winner. That's another one of our female contestants. Uh, both Richard and Jimmy were very, very dedicated uh, uh, players. Uh, I had the good fortune of teaching both of them, and uh, they were really devoted. Obviously, he didn't do too good. There's Richard again. It's going to be tough to sync this audio to the uh, to the video because it moves so fast sometimes. There's Jimmy Lucas again doing the uh, around the world the loop around the world. I think you had to do five of them. Yeah, and there's there's Richard. I can't see what the number on his badge is. Everybody had a, a number badge. And the gentleman in fire, ah, there's Pat, there's the adventure winner. He now lives in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm not sure if he plays anymore or not. After 
showing this so many times in a couple of days. I'm going to see if I can uh, get in touch with him. That, that, that's his, uh, the winner's uh, mother and dad from Memphis. The little blonde with the number 22 is the 63 winner, Jimmy Lucas. There's, uh, that's Don Duncan Jr. And Jack, and uh, these are quick shots. It's going to be kind of hard to, for you to figure out which, which is which, but that's Richard again in the middle. This is something that was going on at Disneyland also, and it was uh, something control line. Uh, they had cars and airplanes. And uh, Brandon, you were you said you were fascinated by the end of this with the uh, scenery. Mm -hmm. The uh, some of the footage, Bob had talked about cutting out the end of the uh, video, but I think just having all of the raw footage is uh, it has something special to it, being that you know it's all the footage from that era in Disneyland, and it was at the same time period of the contest. I'm sure it doesn't look like that today. But oh, yeah. Disneyland's a lot different than that now, so being able to see this footage also takes you back to what it looked like then. I don't know if these two ladies were yo-yo players or not. I didn't see them in the contest footage. <laughs> but that was a fun a fun three days. I think we, we actually started on on a Friday and then had Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday was kind of a cool down day. The actual contest, I believe, was on Saturday. And I have notes and the worksheets from all of this. Uh, we may try to figure out a way to get that online one of these days. Now, were you and Barney both judges or? Yes. Barney was in charge this year. I actually did the 60, uh, the 64 contest and wrote all the, uh, I uh, wrote everything. 63, uh, Duncan sent me to Puerto Rico, so I couldn't go. And my player from uh, San Antonio won, Jimmy Lucas. I still have the original telex that I got in San Anto uh, in uh, Puerto Rico that he sent me the day he won. Now, were there any prizes for the second and third place winners, or was it just the first place? I honestly don't remember. Don't remember? Uh, yeah, there were various prizes, but there was only one big cash prize. But I don't remember what the others got, and I don't know if my paperwork will answer that question or not. Now, this couldn't be Disney. Yeah, I guess it still is. I didn't realize there was this much of it. That's the 1962 Duncan National Championships. Thanks for watching.